what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me Alright guys, we are in Rose My daughter likes these peanuts over here. Uh -oh. My daughter likes these peanuts over here, but she likes the spicy kind. This is the regular kind. IGAs in the area. We have we have rolls. We call it rolls, but it's an IGA store. It's like all the fresh vegetables. Okay, we got some okra. We got some flowers over here. Okay. We got flowers. These flowers are so pretty. The roses. Ooh, these are beautiful right here, these pink ones. Blue. Yeah, they don't do. Beautiful. I love these townhouse purples. So delicious. These nectar joints. I don't know um how much they are. I think these, yep, these are the, uh, they are two for three. You get these guava drinks. Aaron likes guava drinks. And these are water crackers, Jamaican water crackers. And we got the Jamaican soda over here. All the Jamaican stuff. Mom, what oh, are you yeah. well, I got, see got these baby. plantain strips, the salted plantain strips. Okay. And they are $7.99. They got the noodle hold. section. They got the spicy. Spicy noodles. They got the spicy noodles. Mm, all kind of noodles. And this is all the Kellogg cereal guys. They have the Frosted Flakes, Pops. Who eats Pops? I used to eat Pops when I was younger. Uh, I used to eat Apple Jacks when I was younger. I think Ashley likes Apple Jacks. She used to love Apple Jacks. Uh, Fruity Peppers. And crunch city over here. Yeah. And they have like Pop Tart stuff. Look at these. You ever seen these crunchy dippers? I've never seen this before. And then they got the fruity on um, pebbles with the marshmallows, crunch berries. Like that they have these sales. Like they got two for set chips. Like you got these us uh, us uh, chips for two for seven. I like these Uts, red hot, but I don't eat a lot of them because mm -mm, I can't eat too much. When I was younger, I used Mama. to eat these. I see. When I was younger, I used to eat these, um, the skins. When I was younger, if you ate like skins when you were younger, comment it down below. I like the blue chips, the kettle chips. They're delicious. Anthony likes these cheese balls. We got salsa. Oh, this is cool. Freeze dried caramel apple bites. That's cool. Nah, these, they have these dollar section of dollar candy. I got me some butterscotch. I ain't had butterscotch in so long. I know I'm an old lady. And then they have these cherry sours, peach gummies. And they got this mixed with the Tootsie Roll. I wish they had one with just Tootsie Rolls though. That's what I wish they had. I like these right here. The vanilla one. Like one. Yeah, that was yours. One of them yours, one of them Anthony's. I like these caramel candies right here. I always like these. What? And so we have a rose hall. We just got like snacks and stuff. We didn't go berserking them. We got some 
Sprite. This is the Tropical Mix. A Collapse. This is a Collapse um, Lemonade. This is Coral Blast. Thank you. You're welcome. We have some bananas. Banana. We have some Neapolitan ice cream. We have some cookies and cream ice cream, and Aaron wanted some chocolate ice cream, so I got them there. Mm. We have some beef and neck bones. We're gonna have some of those for them tonight. We already have another pack, but you know, we have those as well. I got these Pringles, sauna vinegar. Mm. I got some lemon sliced cake. I have some butterscotch. I have these ranch gummies, these ranch, Jolly Rancher gummies. Antoine and Aaron like these sweet, uh, spicy, sweet, chili chips. Doritos, okay. And I got these scorching cheddar Pringles. And that's it for this haul, guys. Hey guys, so I'm putting together my daughter's new bed, guys. She loves pink, so I got her pink, guys. So that's what I'm doing right now. I already vacuumed the floor. I'm gonna have to vacuum the floor again, because look, what happened? Got to end up liking them again. So here is her mattress that I that we have for her. And here is her bed. And that's the headboard. That's the um, baseboard over there. That's the hardware box. So I got the directions. I'm letting you guys know. I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I'm finna put this together. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get it. All right, guys, so I'm putting this over here, guys. Um, this is the like headboard right here, and I like it because it's like velvet with the um, I don't know what this stuff called, but I like this. I liked it when I first seen it. I liked it. We was gonna get another one, we was gonna get another headboard with like an LED light on it, but another bed with an LED light on it, but it wouldn't it came until all the way into May. We didn't, I didn't want to wait that long. I ain't wanna wait that long. I mean, I just don't have time for it. I want it to come. I was ready for it. I'm ready to get this done and over with. Okay, so now I'm about to look at the directions, guys. I think I'm gonna start with putting this together first. It's saying to put number four. Um, to put number four um, behind these two number fours. So here go one number four, and here go the other number four. So I'm gonna hook these together to this to make it to make the head more work. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the headboard first. I'm gonna put the headboard together first. So, and I might watch a YouTube video too to see if I'm doing it correctly. This is the headboard that goes together. Sit this over there. And I'm gonna move these out the way. Where is this is what I need? This right here. And I'm trying to see is it like some of these screws that go behind it? Because I want to make sure I do this right. Because I have put together um what did I put? I put together a table before and I didn't put all the right screws in the right spot. And it messed me up at the, at the very end, it messed me up. So I wanna make sure I keep up with the numbers and stuff and put the right numbers together with the right numbers. So, yeah. right y'all I know it's four and four I'm looking for the other page for the directions go inside each one of them so hold on all right so it's saying use bulk m845 
twice on each side. And I'm gonna use, um, what did I just do with my bolts? This what I this what I did the last time. I lost the bolts and I was looking very crazy. Um, I'll find the other ones. Just pour this over with. Um, so it's bolts, bolts M8, 45. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure it's not another one. And my son is back there playing the game, y'all, on his phone, so you might hear him talk. Hey. Hey, this is gonna be further down on this on this bed. This I know this is gonna be probably by where the, where you connect this to the bed. This part right here. I figured it out. I like the challenge. I got some beef ribs in the oven, y'all. We have some beef ribs tonight with some baked beans. Some box mac and cheese, cause I'm not gonna cook no, I'm not gonna bake no macaroni and cheese every time. I'm trying to bake some. I'm gonna move this out. And I see on here they skipped the hole, the first hole. So I'm gonna put the second hole on here. I'm gonna put it up on the second hole. I wanna make sure I've got it on the right side. I don't know. I'm not sure which side it's supposed to go. Okay. I'll be back. I'm finna watch a um a YouTube video right quick. It got me, y'all. All right, guys. So this is the after. Well, when that I mean their dad helped me put up her bed um because I was having trouble putting up the bed. Um, I, if I could show you what part I was having trouble with, it's just ridiculous, but it's okay. I figured it, uh, we figured it out. He helped me with it and he helped me with Antoine's and I did Aaron's on by myself, put Aaron's bed together by myself, but I got help with this one. And you know, my daughter, she loves plushies. She, she's very into plush, plushy teddy bears. She collects them. It's something that she collects. She loves them. This is her um, blanket that she got from um, for Christmas. And then this her other blanket that I got her. She got a purple blanket. I'm working on getting her a pink, another a pink one, a couple of pink ones. Because I feel like you should have way more than one sheet set, one blanket or whatever. But she does have more than one. But I think you should have way more than one uh, of that inside your house. You don't want to just have one sheet set for your bed. Cause then you'll have to keep washing it over and over again. Just have multiple. Um, Amazon had sales on them guys. If you guys would like for me to put the sales on the sheets from Amazon, I can put that down below cause they have amazing sales on sheets. Um, for those who feel like it's not affordable, I can show you guys affordable things. Um, yeah, I can show you guys affordable things. And it's going to be some things that I put inside my members only that's going to help a lot of people. So stay tuned for the members only. I'm just working on the members only. Um, and I'm making sure I have time to do the members only. So I'm trying to, um, it depends on what job I get, uh, whatever job I get hired to, um, what the schedule will be. So I'm, I just got to fit the schedule in with whatever job I have. But anyways... I just wanted to show you guys this, um, her bed. Um, it's been up. I had to redo everything. And I'm gonna just tell you guys why um, I put like our apartment as a part of things changing for me, like changing my life around. All right, guys, I'll be back and explain it. All right, guys, so I told you guys, I was gonna tell you guys why I'm choosing to show like uh, parts of my house and cause it's, I feel like it's a part of rebuilding myself um, because the last place I was at, it was like infesting in so different, so many different ways. And a lot of people won't share stuff like that, but I will um, because I feel like it's important to be transparent about a lot of things. And I just feel like 
but I know some people gonna be like, not about it. But yes, I feel like the last place I was at, it's it was I just couldn't see myself growing at all over there, and I felt un, very unmotivated. I was very very severely depressed over there. I was just so sad and just not motivated at all. I feel like where I'm at now, I can flourish a lot more. Um, I'm grateful that we're here where we're at, but I am going to do in the future, I am going to do, we are going to get something way better than this. Um, I know God has a home in our, a, a forever home in our future, more than one forever home in, my, in our future. I have a good relationship, a great relationship with God, and that's something that God had already told me, that I'm going to have multiple streams of income. I'm going to have, me and my kids are going to have more than one home. We're going to have vehicles, um, more than one vehicles. Um, and a lot of things had to fall in, fall apart I know in order for things to fall in place for me, I know things um, right now, a lot of things in my life is, um, it's, it's uh, very difficult. Um, I had some, a little bit of setbacks um, these last couple of months, but um, I just, I'm just working on bouncing back. I don't want to like be in the same place that I was last year this year so that's why i'm working on um getting doing better in my life completely that's why i was trying my best to get out and drive in for those who didn't um uh, for those who watch my live streams that watch my live stream today you know you will know that i just started back getting out i started back getting out a couple of weeks well i've been getting out all this month in a little bit of last month um, I've been driving around, going different places with me and my kids. Um, a lot of y'all know that. And I go outside the other day and the freaking tire is flat. And I'm like, what in the world? And I felt like that's just a, a stern. I was just so excited about getting out for the summer and this happens to me. But I feel like things like my like my pastor says things don't happen to you they happen for you so i'm working on myself like physically because i'm trying to get back in shape mentally um and just all the way around for me and my kids because i want to be the best that i can be for my kids you don't you never know what's coming for your future i don't know if it's going to be somebody else for me um that i'm going to be with in the future i don't know if it's gonna be with the same person or somebody else i don't know so we got i just got to mentally prepare myself and i want to be like healed and happy and productive i don't want to be like a stagnant person so i have to like make sure i get my life in order and according to what god wants me to do not what others want me to do that's why i didn't i, I go from the beat of my own drum and i had my kids like in homeschool and i and I, um, I'm just not a malicious person. I don't want to like keep them in homeschool if it's something that they don't want to do. So I always reassure them if that's not something that you don't want to do, then I will put you back in regular school. Not, I don't think it's a good idea to put them back in regular school right now, but if that's what something that they feel like they want to do, if they want to do like activities and they feel like they are like, you know, because they're not in regular school, they can't do certain activities or whatever. I would do that, but right now they don't want that. So I don't want to force something on them. And they are loving their school. They have with um the support system that I get for Anthony with this school is just unmatched. When I tell you, uh, we have like a parenting group, and um uh, we have a parenting group, and we have a Facebook group too with the people that goes to their school as well. So um we are planning trips and stuff and a lot of the trips that we are planning they are not far from where we live at so i'm so excited because um our home school that we're going to they are planning out like places that we can go throughout the summer so that we can so the kids can talk be with their play classmates and play with their classmates so we're going to be having a lot of we're going to have a lot of fun this summer because we're gonna do a lot. I'm so excited about all the things to come. And it took me 
to lose some things too in order for me to fall in order for my life to fall back together um i had to lose i lost a lot but i feel like god is gonna restore me and gain it, uh, what he's gonna restore me me it's gonna be a whole lot better than what i lost 10 times better because i'm just not a bad person i know i'm not a bad person for years i had the wrong people around me making me feel like i was a bad person when i'm not because one thing about me if i'm wrong about something i'm gonna apologize for it number one and i'm gonna mean it when i apologize about something or i'm gonna tell let the people know hey listen what i did was wrong or whatever and i i definitely apologize for it and it's not no excuse it's it's not no if i did nothing wrong no it's i apologize for whatever i did and i mean it because i don't want i don't want to apologize too and go back to the same behavior i'm just trying to get better you know and things are going to get better i'm happy um i'm a whole lot happier than i have been in years because of this i'm happy that i'm starting to get back out there and not seclude myself because i feel like i had failed my family when i was going through that and that, and i didn't realize that i was just letting the enemy get in my head and telling me that i'm not worthy and i was feeling like somebody darn was did some voodoo on me or something <laughs> but you never know because people are crazy like that but anyways um i just went totally left for this but yeah that neighborhood we was in it was a bad neighborhood i was we would hear gunshots and stuff guys and i remember on new year's eve like on um new year's new year's the year before i prayed so hard just to get from up out of there y'all i prayed hard i got on my i got on my face guys i was on the floor on my face praying for me and my kids and i was so disappointed in myself i down myself so much because I'm like, I put them in this, I picked out this place for us and we are just in a bad situation. And um, I'm not trying to say that we're gonna live where here, where here forever, no. And I'm not talking down about this place. I'm grateful for this place. It's a whole lot better than a lot that I had, that, a whole lot better than a lot of places we did have. But I wanna set a goal so that me and my family can get our own home you know i want my kids my son he already told me what kind of what kind of house he wants and my other two of my sons told me how what kind of house they want and what they want in their house and stuff like that so i'm gonna get it according to what i like and what they like and that's gonna come for me good things are gonna happen for me and i'm gonna keep speaking that into existence and i'm gonna work towards all the things that i want because that's what i've been doing I haven't been just talking. I've been working towards everything I want. And you guys are going to see a lot more videos. Um, Lord willing, this summer, Lord willing, you guys will see. I don't want to promise anything because things happen in life that can stop things. But I just pray that it doesn't. I pray that I can be able to just push these videos out, guys. Um, because it's hard sometimes when things happen in my life, guys like things that hurt me or things that go on in my life and it happens to me it's hard for me to um put out a video when i know i'm going through something because i don't want to bring other people down when i'm down i just want to be up i want to be positive and i want to bring positivity to people's life i don't want to bring anything to anybody in life that's going to hurt them or make them feel bad so um i'm going to end out my video like this every time by telling you guys to don't wait till somebody's gone to give them their flowers give them their flowers give them their flowers now guys because you never know when the last time you may see or talk to that person so give them let people know how you feel about them now while you're here on this earth don't wait until they're gone guys so yeah don't wait until they're gone and work on yourself in any in every way possible guys Try to make yourself better every day. Don't get complacent in one space and think, oh, that's it for the rest of your life. No, you don't want to get complacent, guys, because that's what I did. I got complacent in the wrong place, child. Yo, it's just crazy. And I was just like not even motivated to do anything. And now I'm motivated to do a lot. And I can't wait to like lose this weight. I can't wait to 
get it to working. I can't wait to drive more and go more places and explore more places. It's a lot of places I want to explore with you guys because it's a lot to offer in Jacksonville. And I want to travel other places as well because we have places like St. Augustine and, I, and a lot of different places that I can travel with, with my kids. And I had the resources and I wasn't using the resources. And I'm just kind of disappointed in myself. I'm like, darn, I had a vehicle all this time to do it. And I wasn't doing it because of my fear. But God's been helping me with that. And I'm going to, I'm, God is going to restore me. He is restoring me, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably all over the place. But hang in there with me, guys. It's better to come. See you guys next vlog. Be the fan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me